Those are some really good tunes, and this seems like a really fun game. You like yourself some faster than light and perhaps some more grittier space games like, well, Elite Dangerous or Star Citizen, then Trigon may be for you. I got access here to early access uh, version of the game where we can take a crew around space and just like faster than light, we perform tasks in order to defend ourselves and repair our ship and do all the things needed in order to complete our goal. I'm not exactly sure the whole story of the game as this is just the early access version of Trigon Space Story. But it is available on Steam and should be a good time. Wanted to welcome everybody back to the channel and thanks again for subscribing. Good to see you all here. Thanks again for smashing that subscribe button and liking the channel and hanging out. And welcome back to you lovely members. Let's get some wonderful W's in chat for a big win, hopefully, in today's episode as we explore space and find out what it's all about. We'll start ourselves a new game and start playing right away. So thanks again for tuning in. Hope you're having a great day. And if not, hopefully this video makes it so much better. A big shout out to the number one community on YouTube. Let's roll with some Trigon. Sorry, the music was too good. I just wanted to hear it for a second. Let's go. All right, now we get to select our ship here with the Human Explorer, which is the name of this class, or the Itari Cruiser, which comes with aliens here as well. Nervina. And uh, another character here, one's limp and one's scatterbrain. Looks like they have positive and negative attributes. And there we go, the interior of the ship, engines on the outside and all the bay areas on the inside, like, for example, the med bay and different armory modules and whatnot. Subsystems like the captain's bridge and the door control. And here, this crew, Leah, Grace, which apparently are twins, and Dimitri. Nice, nice. That must be our captain there. So a shield operator, hyperdrive operator, and engineer, too. Will be a little light on weapons, but these bad boys should get her done. The Mark II blaster and the Thunderbolt. Information on the ship and uh, both ships, actually. Uh, there you go. And many other ships that we can play as two in the future, some of which are locked. I hope they get really big, and I hope we can have like crew of like 10 or so people. That'd be awesome. All right, let's jump back to the other ship, though. Looks like that one seemed to be a little bit more uh, appropriate, I guess, for this run. Let's go ahead and launch our mission and see if we can save the day. I assume just like in Faster Than the Light, we're probably being chased by a raider force or mercenaries or something in order to do, uh, well, whatever it may take to save the galaxy. Let's go. And there we are, out of hyperspace. After shaking off another uh, Venatar patrol, you're trying to understand what's going on. The local communication hub makes it clear that a bounty is put on your head. It's a good idea to find a safe place until the dust settles. Your friend Ronnie from the asteroid belt knows pretty well where to go to gr where to go to ground. What does that mean? Uh, something happened. All right, we'll have to figure out what that was. All right, here's all the information: your resources, hull integrity, shield, spaceship movement, enemy spaceship, your spaceship, and uh, yeah. So we'll be exchanging fire just like in Fast and the Light. Kind of cool. All right, let's continue. Uh, let's see. Order a unit to move. Select a unit. Okay. Increase energy or decrease energy. Right, so basically increasing energy to each system. And there's our reactor giving us total points, available energy. Uh, turn on weapons, turn off weapons, and then we're to fire on the enemy ship. And of course, going into hyper jump. In battle, it takes time to charge, of course. Wow, this is weird. There's like a glowing sphere there. Shields are up. The ship looks great. That's really good looking. And there's all of our uh, systems there. There's Leah. And Grace and uh, Dimitri at the front in, the, in our captain's bridge. Very nice. Where are these uh, areas on the ship? Does it show us exactly? Oh, wow. Oh, these are all alerts that could be happening. Uh, you're dangerously close to a black hole. Your ability to maneuver is lowered. I hope these only are. I hope this isn't where we are now. I think this might be just where it is when we uh, make a jump. Okay, well, speaking of which, looks like we'll need to make a jump, so it'll cost us four food and one energy, but we gotta go, so let's do it. See where else we can go. Oh, that might be where we need to go. So how do we get there? This is our destination there at the the Propus system. So how would we get along there? We go to either way here. Let's jump there. And start making our way to the first checkpoint. Upon your arrival at the system, you're contacted by a local colony of miners. It looks quite poor and abandoned. Thank God someone didn't turn a deaf ear to our call. Sir, Captain, we're constantly attacked by uh, Tur uh, Turtion's pirate fleet 
that plunders our settlements. We can't count on the new ring to protect us and the Venatars don't care about us. We beg you, please help us. Oh, it must be, these must be a mercenary then. Arrange a, arrange a surprise attack or help them adjust the old system of, ooh, planet defense. Well, he is an engineer, so let's give that a try. You adjust the system of planet defense from memory. A couple of minutes later, it starts working to your surprise. You decide to take their reward and leave the colony. Suddenly in orbit, you're attacked by the very system that you've been adjusted. <laughs> it seems it's attacking everything without distinction, so you rush away as soon as possible. Well, at least they're uh, defended. That's good. Uh, plus 109 money, but oh no, our ship took damage. Darn. Oh, negative 60. Is that is that going to be a big hit? Well, if it's a shield, we should be able to recharge. Oh, that's lame. Shouldn't it... Uh, this is our shield here. Shouldn't that actually hit our shield first? That's weird. Uh, anyway, let's keep jumping then. Uh, let's go to the next system. Yeah, you'd think the shields would take a hit first. Oh boy, there's a, there's a crash. Upon arriving at the system, you see an unmanned Venatar ship and hear the signal of combat protocol activation. An unmanned ship? Uh-oh, it's like a drone. Uh-oh. All right, well, to battle then. Let's go ahead and increase. Uh, let's turn on automatic fire. Uh, looks like we can only do one. Can we increase more power there? More power to weapons. Okay, let's start shooting. There we go. Shields are back up. Nice. Wow, they really knocked down your shield. Okay. Nice. Get wrecked, nerd. Beautiful. Enemy vessel destroyed. All right, a little taste of combat. Not bad. You destroy the ship and take everything you can before leaving the system. Uh, plus 133 credits. Looks like some repair stuff, missiles, and I think that might be a loss of time. Or that's how long it took to do it. I'm not sure. Okay, let's continue to jump. Open the star map. All right, let's go to the next system, which would be here. And see if we can go. And away we go. We've got 36 food, so eventually we're going to have to trade for more. Uh, the Atari system contains a lot of planets totally given to slaves or prisons. You see one such planet on your sensors, and right now you're witnessing a mass breakout. Maybe you should help an escapee. Ooh, we can help someone out. And maybe get another crew member. Let's risk it. Pick up an escapee. You fly to one of the prisons and offer the locals to join you on your adventure. A couple of them quickly volunteer to join your crew. Whoa, damn. Awesome. Whoa, wow. Okay. Oh, these two don't like it. The, twi the twins are a little angry, but that's cool. All right. Nice. Uh, Venatars are close. It's going to be a tough battle. The Annihilator... Uh-oh. We shouldn't have hung out. The Annihilator class ship greets you. Blah, blah, blah. Cut the story short, Captain. I'm going to follow the books. I'll destroy you quickly to get the reward, and we're equal. I don't know what you've done to the new reign, and I won't mess with them. Get ready for battle. Okay, so we have to exchange troops for a... Oh, boy. Oh, that thing looks scary. Okay. Repair systems. Wait, uh, fire. Oh, ni oh they're getting wrecked. Oh. Ma'am, you were... You were having a bad day. Fire. Shoot somewhere. There we go. <laughs> what? She has literally no health. All right, finish them off. Initiate fire. Hit with that blaster. Oh, they're getting a few repairs done. Ooh, how do I get crew on repairs? Oh, we have a few people here. I don't know exactly which room is which yet, so... Oh, they're getting repairs done. They're doing some good repairs. Where's our shield mate? Let's get somebody on shields. I gotta find a way to check everybody's skills still. Weapon room, yep. We already got Daniel here. Okay, med bay. O2 room. Oh wow, they're fully repaired. I don't know who this is. You are ugly. Okay, let's get you on weapon systems. I don't know. I don't know exactly what's going on. I don't know who's who. Wow, we've destroyed them like two times. Get those shields operational. Let's go. Wow, they can get repairs done really fast. Let's switch to missiles. Or maybe we should leave. Increase power.
Yeah, there we go. Hit that shield. Oh, this is shield on the left. Never mind. I was. It's opposite to ours. Our shield is on the right, and our health is on the left. It's opposite here. Keep nailing him, baby. I want. I want that ship completely dead. Kind of weird though how the fire comes from different angles as we're being shot at from one position. How can I check everyone's stats here? Engineer. Well, Lee is good on shields, so she's in the right spot. This person, Grace, is good on weapons, it seems. Four, four. Okay, so Daniel's good on weapons too. Maybe we better keep Daniel on the engines, but we almost got this ship destroyed, I believe. Can we board them? Oh, look, we can control the... We can actually control the um, rooms ourselves. We haven't taken a lick of damage, but they are. They're almost finished off. More power to those engines. Ah, right-click to decrease. Left-click to increase. There we go. Prepare to fire. Ah, I'm learning. I'm learning. So it's right-click to decrease. Left-click to increase. They are done, baby. One more hit should do it. Would you like to hail? And uh, if this doesn't do it, I'm going to fire a thunderbolt. All right, let him have it. All right, fire. Damn, a miss. Fire again. Wait till the shield is down. Fire the missiles. Yeah, get wrecked. Woo, that was an intense battle, but we held firm. The battle turned out to be much harder than you could even imagine. You move on, gathering the resources, and hope not to stumble across such a venator again. Oh, we got good food, though. Nice, we'll need that for the crew. wonder if they'll use more food now in these jumps. Yes, they will. Negative nine rather than negative four. All right, well, the captain needs to definitely go to the med bay. A couple of hits from that battle. So med bay is right here. All right, we got to get our bearings now. Kind of learn how this all goes. So Captain, why don't you come on back here? Get healed up, if you will. There we go. Everybody else is doing just fine, so they got one lucky hit on us. Now, how else would we repair the engines? Let's put Daniel back here in the engine room. And Laroa can go to the oxygen room. So it looks like we got everybody in a system. That's good. Hopefully Laroa can uh, fight. Is there like history on this? Oh, I'd like to know more info. All right, well, let's go. I think repairs will have to be done just like in Faster Than the Light then. Let's go ahead and take systems off the uh, weapons. There we go. Looks like there's many more systems too. Okay, let's make a jump. We have uh, two more jumps to do, it looks like. Or maybe three. Oh, looks like we're going to have to go one, two, three, and then four. Okay, let's go. Make a jump to this system. Or rather this one, the Tabit system. Woo! That was a cool battle. I like to see everything go on and see how it all functioned. Very delightful that it's close to Faster Than Light. Makes it familiar. Makes it easier to learn. At the nearby casino, which you actually intended to fly over to escape from problems, <laughs> they're asking for help. They offer decent money for your service, so you turn your ship to fly closer. Fly closer and listen to their offer. Uh, nickname something welcomes you. A nearby branch casino needs a stock of issued gambling chips. We have a delivery request. Could be illegal, but we're already in a bunch of uh, trouble. Wow, rob the casino on the fly, refuse to do the job. Uh, we'll deliver some chips. Hopefully they're barbecue. Let me know your favorite chip type down below in the comments section, too, by the way, if you watch this far. I want to know who's actually watching. A lot of people, I think, jump to the middle judge a game and then bail but if you're not one of those people go ahead and let me know your favorite chips you accept the request for delivery and take a whole truckload of package gambling chips on your cargo hold with such a stock you'd enjoy your best games uh, everybody needs chips plus one okay so we have to go to a specific location now to drop those off although I don't know exactly when okay let's make a jump again looks like it needs to be delivered maybe here is that where we need to go or is that an enemy ship not sure where we need to deliver it to. Oh, back over there. Oh, boy. Well, we're close to our destination. Oh, man. That's where we got to deliver that one to. That's totally in the opposite direction. Oh, and you can see our bounty, too. It's increasing with each uh, little conflict we get into. 
Right, let's head to our destination first, and then if there's time, we'll do that one. Let's jump up to uh, Zurarak, and then to Menkar to our final destination. Make the jump. These ships look awesome. It definitely gives me Star Citizen vibes, especially the uh, background looking like um, more like Elite Dangerous. While exploring the system, you notice a destroyed planet. The miners uh, excavated through the annihilated a whole world at the direction of the new rain. Waiting for the engine to get charged, you experience some mixed feelings about such a job. I guess we're clear to go and do repairs if needed. All right, let's go to Menkar. And here we are. When you enter the system, you hardly escape uh, loads of wreckage from the uh, the tar uh, tar pop tarts orbiting the planet. On closer examination, you notice a dump planet that used to belong to the pop tarts. You never know what the secrets it hides. Explore the vicinity. Wait until your engines are recharged. Let's take a risk. You decide to land. Just a couple minutes after your arrival, you catch a mysterious signal resembling an encrypted uh, Pop-Tart message coming from somewhere inside the planet. Get a local Pop-Tart involved. You find a somewhat intact Pop-Tart and try to turn it on. Luckily, you know it uh, knowledgeable enough to revive him. Oh, it must be like a, like a drone? Uh, you find... Uh, okay, yep. The Pop-Tart seemed unhappy about being revived. However, he tells you that the planet died in the times when the planet belong to the Pop-Tarts. He doesn't know what happened. You're about to leave when he shows you his willingness to go with you. Must be so uncomfortable for him to be here. Plus one Pop-Tart. Okay. Better be Strawberry. I think that might be some sort of a repair drone for us. Wow, we're getting very lucky. Upon entering the system, you stumble across to Venatar. His ship is ready to fight, and it seems you can't escape it. The Annihilator-class ship greets you. The new reign considers you to be a dangerous individual and grants a reward for your annihilation. Thank you for crossing my path. Get ready to fight. Amelia, come on now. I'm gonna get you, girl. Full systems on weapons and fire the missiles! And these two. Let's put them both on automatic. We took some good hits. Oh, wow. They're, they're getting them some good hits. Wait, we need somebody in ships. Get fire. Oh, I guess I have to do it myself. Thought it turned it on automatic. Ooh, she hit us again. Nice, shields are down. Fire the missiles. Yeah, there we go. Okay, we're hitting their weapon systems. Before I was firing around randomly, now I'm specifically trying to hit these weapon systems and eventually try to hit the shields, but if they can't shoot, they can't fight. Oh, damn. Well, never mind about that. Woo! Get wrecked. All right, then. Well, that was fine. You're quick to pick up whatever is left after the battle and continue your journey. Ooh, yeah, we got eight hamburgers, some fuel, missiles... And some repair parts, too. I think in order to repair, we might have to go to a special place. If that's anything like faster than light. So that's cool. All right, let's go. Uh, can we make a direct jump? We can. All right, let's go to Propus. And away we go. All right, this is where our friend is hiding. Uh, while approaching the asteroid belt, it becomes clear that something is wrong. Stations are silent and there's no ships in view. You notice a strange emission on your radars that come from... A waste recycling module. Great, an enemy ship's hiding. Where is everyone? Need to find Ronnie in this whole mess ASAP. Send a crew member to look around. Send your uh, Pop-Tart to examine the place. Let's do that. You ask your metal friend for help. It gladly agrees to examine the anomaly. Your friend comes back two hours later, a robot on his back. Gee, another one? Oh my god, wow. We're grabbing so much stuff. The asteroid turned out to be a slaughterhouse. The answers were hidden inside Lucky Ticket. Co what does that mean? According to the signs on its body, its number is 21, 31, 14. It'll be hard to turn it on. Half its brains got burnt. You'll need to find someone who will restart, restart it despite all the prohibitions. If possible, you should be... Uh, it should be enough... I think it means another. Uh, Pop-Tart already uh, reconsidered its life. Looks like you'll have to go to a pirate station. 
There's no other place you can find a Pop-Tart to turn on a robot for on for money. Uh, den, sweet den. Upon entering the system, you come across a Venator. The battle is inevitable. What? Shouldn't that start at the beginning? Annihilator class greets you. Rain, okay, yeah. All right, we're, we're out. All right, ma'am. We got you. Wow, really, a lot of... A lot of ladies losing their ships. Oh, misclick. Well, let's go for that. Fires and missiles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, wait. Uh... Oh, okay. Full power into weapon systems. Okay, fire the missiles. Yada, yada. Fire the missiles. Oh, O2's oh, down. O2, O2. Okay, enemy. Get that O2 online. After a devastating battle, you catch your breath and fly away quickly before support uh, force arrives. Good, good. All right, well, maybe we can get some repairs from the, these pirates, too. It looks like oxygen's back online. Whoo, that was a close one. What with that? Oh, I thought we were getting gobbled up by the sun. Oh, boy, we need, we need to get these systems under control. There's a fire. Go, Grace. Oh my god, she's on fire. Grace, no! <laughs> oh boy. Must be from the sun that we're experiencing all this. Can you use a fire extinguisher? There we go. Oh boy, everything, everything's on fire. Too much incoming damage. Hold on, we gotta... Oh god, Dimitri! Oh, we gotta get out. We gotta make a jump. The sun is just too much. Okay, it was a trap. Uh, where can we go now? We gotta go this way. Holy crap. Okay, so we gotta go here. I don't know why that's red. Oh, it's us jumping into a new sector, I think. Let's get out of here. From the sun. All these alerts in the upper left. Oh, boy. On coming to the system, you see a, a Pop-Tart ship bedecked with a huge plates. On the closer examination, you know skillfully patched up holes welding across the hull. The ship is running, which can't, uh, which can't but astonish you. Astonish when you're forced to see it's preparing their weapons for action. Oh, boy. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I think that is a gargantuan uh, rip and GG. There is no way we're coming back from that after the damage from the sun. Unless we hightail it out of here. There's no way, though. Well, let's try. Oh, wow. What the hell? Oh, we're dead. We are so dead. Prepare. Uh, prepare. Prepare. Just prepare. <laughs> oh, oh, cool. The drone's repairing. Nice. The, mysteri the mystery of Trigon hasn't yet been uncovered. Oh, boy. Ah, oh, but we can restart. Let's see if we can do that and actually, uh, oh, it brings us back to the main menu. Well, cool. I like what's here. Faster Than Light, of course. Uh, inspiring Trigon, which, again, is a game that requires RNG and patience to play over and over again. If you've played Loop Hero or if you've played Faster Than Light, you know that every single adventure can be easier or more dangerous based on what the game throws at you. Lots of good combat here. Lots of great RNG and side quests in order to get us a lot of booty. And a lot to discover in a challenging game that really is a kind of a brutal game too but that's what makes it fun i hope you enjoyed our first look at the early access for trigon and we'll come back again sometime soon to discover more of its mysteries if you'd like to see more leave a like on the way out thanks again for subscribing and showing all your support down below in the comment section and i hope you have a fantastic afternoon good evening and good night i'll see you all very soon take care of everyone goodbye Good music too, by the way. Enjoy.